It's business as usual for Amy Williams at her pet grooming salon she operates out of her home. Haircuts, cleanup, earthquakes, all a part of a day's work in Somerville. The last two that we've had, I actually heard like a growling sound or a rumbly sound bef before I felt any shaking. Williams says the shaking isn't bad, but the frequency is getting worse. They're so quick and fast and mild that it just almost seems like you imagined it. All of a sudden, I'm like, huh, I think we had an earthquake, and it's just like that. Just like that, six earthquakes of magnitude 2.6 or less have registered in the Somerville area in the last three months alone. Small earthquakes tell us that the fault is still active and that we still have to be worried. Dr. Aaron Butel has been tracking quakes around the world and in the low country as an associate geology professor at the College of Charleston. She's waiting and watching because small quakes tell a bigger story about what's happening underground. It's big pressure because it's building to create the big earthquake, but as it builds to create a big earthquake, it is um, also releasing a little bit of, of pressure. Are we expecting the big one? Yes. Um, when we expect the big one, we don't really know. Um, statistics say four to five hundred years after the last one. The last big one was 126 years ago. The great quake of 1886 was a 7.3 magnitude earthquake that crippled Charleston and has Williams wondering, what if? It's just scary to think. Uh, you could lose everything that you've worked for in just a short amount of time. And it does make you wonder if something bigger or worse is coming along. Mark Davenport, Live 5 News.